everyone, welcome back to another The Mori Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS, of course. We are jumping straight back into Mount Mori to continue developing this town and getting along with our villagers and exploring the shops and Main Street and the campground and everything like that. Which reminds me, we should probably check on our campsite today to see if we have a visitor because we haven't had one in a few days, so maybe there'll be one there today. But really, we're just going to continue developing our house and just continuing with um, town life here in Mount Mori. So thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. This is our house at the moment. We have changed it a little bit. Kind of rearranged the library to put it towards the back. Um, we're still looking for that other Halloween mask. We haven't found that yet. So we'll go ahead and see if we can find that today. And then we've started using the regal furniture um, with a few random bits that we hope to get customized later on. But I think it looks kind of cool at the moment. So this is our house. Anyway, uh, we will have to upgrade this at some point, but we seriously need some bells. So maybe we can try and make some bells today. I'm thinking we're going to have to do some initiatives as well to get some meow coupons because we have scanned a villager. Unfortunately, it isn't stitches like we'd hoped because for some reason um, it won't scan. Um, so I've scanned someone else instead, which we'll see shortly. Um, okay. Hey, Peanut. Good morning. It's looking a bit cloudy today. What's that all about? Uh, good morning. Good to see you, Maury. Uh, what do you want to talk about? Anything? Hmm, I'm feeling a little lonely. I want someone to come over to my place to hang out. How about you? Yeah, right now. Now? Okay. I mean, are you gonna lead the way or do we have to- or do we have to lead the way? Cool, let's go to my place then. Lead the way. Okay, we're leading the way. Is, is this the one? Okay, we didn't have very far. Can we take- can we take Peanut like just all the way around? Just have Peanut following us for the rest of the day. It's kind of cute. I wonder at some point is Peanut going to be like, why are you not going to our house? Or my house? We have no notices. What if we run away? <laughs> I feel cruel. Okay, let's go. Reminds me of when Isabel is following us. Oh, we found your house. Even though we started right there. <laughs> hey, here we are. Hang on for a second. I'll, I'll unlock the door. Okay. Um, was the door even locked? We not get in their houses when they're nearby. Uh, welcome, come in, slacker. Yeah, we actually do like your house. Oh, did you, no, you didn't buy this from the retail, did you? Uh, you already had it. Very nice. Can we buy stuff? I want to buy this. Can we buy this? No. In city folk, you can. Like when they invite you over. Maybe you'll pick up a pointer or two for your own place. Yeah, we need it. This is, a, this is a proper home, isn't it? Like a proper apartment here. Uh, plants make a room feel more like a resort. Every day at my place is a vacation. 100%. Are, are we going to play a game or can I leave? What are we doing here, Peanut? Uh, oh, you're just going to keep saying the same stuff. Okay, then we're, we're going to head out. Thank you for a little tour. Hey, you're taking off, but you can't leave without telling me what you think of my room. Uh, <clears throat> ick. <laughs> actually, it's really good. Um, it's so great. It's a proper home, actually. I like some, some villager homes. They're just like construction sites or like weird deserts. And This is an actual home. Uh, I'll keep up the good work then, Slacker. So come over some uh, again sometime. Does Peanut now stay inside? Hmm. I don't know. But there we go. That was kind of fun. This rock is not new. I mean, it is new. It's not a usual rock, is it? Ooh. We're doing so well with the gold nuggets. It's a shame Cyrus is asleep right now. Uh, right, let's go and see if we can check out that mask. We're still looking for the werewolf mask. I'm sure it's a Halloween mask. I think. So I don't know why it's not appearing. So we'll check it out anyway. We'll do our little chores up here in Main Street. And hopefully we find something cool. Not that we've got much money. It's still not here. Why? That's crazy. Maybe it's not a Halloween one. It's just like a random mask. Hey, Mabel. Are we on day 10 yet? I feel like we're way past day 10. 
Well, Kamori, as you can see, I'm just as busy as always since my other younger sister, Label, has come home uh, um, after living far away for so long. Well, it just made sense to expand the shop a little. But that means I've got to work even harder than ever before. You got that right, sis. Now that Label is home with us, we've started ca uh, carrying more types of clothing and accessories as well. Label spent some time working under the famous, uh, pretty famous fashion designer named Gracie. That's, of course, reference to City Vogue, which is really fun because Label does work in the store there. Um, during that time, Gracie gave her the professional name of Label, uh, or Labelle, to use as a designer. Uh, it's our dream to make the Labelle, is that, am I saying that right? Brand famous around the world, starting right here in Mount Mori. Oh no, Mabel, aren't you kind of embarrassed to talk about all that stuff in front of Mori? We're the mayor! We shouldn't be embarrassed. We should be endorsing, uh, like, s local businesses. Uh, but sis, what could possibly be embarrassing about it? Yes, as I was saying, Maury, as the mayor of Mount Maury, we'd love for you to push the LaBelle brand as a symbol of our town. Okay. On one condition. You stock some werewolf masks! <laughs> Otherwise, we're not going to be able to complete the Halloween... Th Think, don't we have to scare the villagers? Or am I thinking of city folk here? How is it? I'm gonna have to look up how it takes, like what takes place on Halloween. I can't remember. I think we have to scare them into giving, getting candy or something. I'm sure that's why we need them. Hey, Liv, just coming here to pick up our flowers. Which reminds me, we really need to get the ordinance uh, taken care of today, probably. And then we can stop worrying about flowers wiltering. Although, is there a goal for watering so many flowers? Because if there is, then we might need to hold off on the ordinance. But we'll check it out. Let's go into TNT Mart. There'll be a spooky item, piece of candy. And hopefully something cool. Oh, you're in here. Hey. Uh, hey, hi there. You're a big shopper too, Mori. Yeah, I saw that from a mile away. So what can I do for you? Not a lot. The product section is alright and is pretty convenient, but the atmosphere of this store was more nostalgic before. I liked it way better. Uh-oh. A step ladder. That's pretty cool. We've got like a little incense thing. Uh, how it goes, more? I, I was actually just trying to just trying to buy this, so if, if you could, sorry, just get, let me get through here for a second. Yes, we'll buy that. Uh, thank you, four thousand one hundred and twenty-four bells. This step ladder is kind of cool, so I'm gonna buy it. I don't know what we're going to use it for, but I feel like you might need that in a library to access some books from like the, the upper shelves. So it's not generally not an item I would go for, but I think that would work in a library. Now, thank you for a visit. Please come again. Thank you. Right, well, while we're up here, obviously we have to do the checks. We'll leave kicks for now. Um, Maybe we'll check in later. I just want to check the... Nook Homes though. We're on the lookout for a new fence. Not that we have the money to spend it, but we can get some money if we got a, if we got a cool fence. Oh, is that the... Wait, is that a princess fence? Fairy tale fence. That's pretty cool, but it wouldn't really go with our aesthetic. I do... I do have plans. I would really love to continue this Let's Play long enough to get four homes. Like we did in City Folk. So that means playing for a long time if people are up for it. And that means we could expand like four houses. And then we can have like a fairy tale house, a zen house, or a castle, a modern house, all that cool stuff. Um, anyway, getting sidetracked. In the hype. <laughs> so we'll head back now. I'm going to just throw this ladder inside. Oh, we still need to go to the campground. Let's do that first. That way we won't have to keep going back to our house. Actually, I'm gonna put the flowers over here. Now. Uh, 
Um, so those are to go in storage. That is to go out on display. So yeah, our town is feeling pretty bare, but that's because we haven't got any paths or anything. We haven't made any areas or haven't got too much public work projects done. But the ones, the default ones are cool, but they're not as cool as the ones you can unlock. Let's see what we've got for sale. What are those? They look like, uh, they kind of look like pumpkins, but I know they're not. And then we've got like a little jar thing, kettle. Okay, any guesses to who this is? <laughs> Let's head inside. And we'll see. It is Gonzo! Unfortunately, I couldn't scan stitches. I don't know why it wasn't working. It didn't come up with the option to move, um, to visit. So we've got this. What is this? A glass? Can we get in there? It's a glass screen as well. I can't rotate it. We've got, like, I can just see, the, we've got the jail bars and glass screen. Why have you got a mobile bank? Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, you live here? Oh, well, I hope my camp in here isn't going to be a problem for you. I mean, it looks like you're just going to buy off some people. I mean... Is this an alarm? Imagine this sounded like a bank alarm. But yeah, we invited Gonzo because Gonzo is just it's like one of my favourites uh, from the GameCube village. Anyway. Oh, GameCube game, should I say. But yeah, I forgot he had all of the, like a mobile bank. That is hilarious. Let's have a look at the furniture. We haven't got many meow coupons. So we might be able to buy like, oh no, there are only three coupons in here. So we could buy a couple of things. The fancy floor is actually really nice. It does scream kind of high-end bank, doesn't it? We've got a bell point. That would be so useful. I feel like a cheat though, getting it this early in the game. A chain divider. The glass partition is cool. Jail bars are cool. Meeting room. Money box. Pile of cash. And a safe. Ooh, do you think we can put things on top of the safe? Do you think the safe is a cupboard as well? Or is it just a... Uh, do you think we can access storage in the safe? So I'm thinking... I would feel like a cheat getting the bell point this early, because it's kind of something you work towards, isn't it? So, let's go for something like... Let's go for the safe, because I hope that's so we can access storage. That will be with us tomorrow. And then, anything in here that would go well with our... Things. I'm thinking... Hmm... Mate, I'm going to do the glass petition just because it's a unique item. And then we haven't got enough to get anything else. Uh, well, Gonzo, thank you so much for letting us visit your camper. Oh, we can move. We can move Gonzo in. That's funny. I just inquired about this down at the town hall, but the gal said, no can do. Town's too full of newcomers or some shenanigans like that, mate. Well, hold on to that hot potato. <laughs> Uh, you're the mayor of this fine town, aren't you? I think it's okay with you, mate, if I use your name to clear some folks and make room for me. Go for it. Do we get to choose who, though? I'm so glad you said that. Now, which one of this sorry bunch is getting the boot? Oh, wow. Um, this is hard. Um, I'll ask someone else. Oh, it's got to be Paula. I'm sorry, Paula. So then, I'll go talk to Paula. Gotcha. I'll tell you how it goes, mate. <laughs> Just like that. It's so polite. Gonzo used to be so grumpy and he would hate you. Which is kind of why I warmed to him. Because after a while, we had a really nice friendship in the GameCube version. Even though he's horrible to everyone. I worked my magic on Paula and long story short, she's out of here. Actually, she was already planning on moving. Which was kind of disappointing. But anyway, the move is on. Time to get me packing. Hey, so, I don't know, maybe Gonzo moves in tomorrow. Oh, I hope that doesn't mean that we can't invite him in the future to buy some more bank stuff. Looks like we've got Pascal. Might as well check out Pascal while we're here. Not that we can afford to buy anything. Because we're down to only two coupons. We've seen you again. 
Wait, have we seen you again? Yeah, we have, haven't we? Because didn't this where we got the uh, the stuff from? Back again so soon? Hey man, do you like live in this town? It's a pretty far out place. Uh, I hope it's cool for me to crash here. As long as you don't literally mean like crash your RV here, you can stay as long as you want. Okay, so that's pretty cool. We, we've seen, I'm pretty sure we've seen Pascal twice now, because I think that's where we got the library wall from. Okay, what initiatives have we got then? Local fruits. Um, selling five fruits, one ticket. Hmm. Okay, what was the other ones? So we've got to do that before tomorrow. Pike. Um, so we need to catch a pike. That's unlikely, isn't it? Art appreciation. Donate some art. We can't do that because we've got no art. And clear some trash. We might be able to do that if we do some fishing. We can definitely sell some fruit though. We do need to make some bells. So I'm thinking, let's go and sell our peaches. And try and get some, make some bells. So where does, uh, Paula live? I wonder, does Gonzo move in on where Paula lives? Paula lives right down by the dock. Or does... Paula move out, and then Gonzo just moves in, wherever. Oh, hey. Hey, Maury, been thinking I want to spread the good word about uh, our town elsewhere. Um, and I can do that by moving away. Yeah, I'm leaving Mount Maury. I, I, I can make it more famous. I'm going to leave on the 23rd of this month. No, you're not allowed to go, Flora. You're, you're one of our dreamies. Wow, you really want me to stay, don't you? I guess this town just wouldn't be the same without me. Okay, I'll stay. You convinced me. Uh, thanks for putting the brakes on my plans. Thanks for letting me put the brakes on your plans. Oh, no! Oh! So it did work. This spot is reserved for stitches. But he moved here instead of visited here. Oh! What? Wait a minute. Can we only invite the RVs? The RV campers? Because there's, there's 50 RV camper amiibos. Are they, are they, are the rest move in. They don't have normal campers. I'm so confused right now. Did I know this? I don't know. I feel like I didn't know that. Maybe I just, maybe, I must have just selected the wrong button. Maybe I just misread it. Anyway, let's go and get these fruit. I'm happy to have stitches here though, so that's good. <laughs> so we didn't get to see him in the campground, but we do get stitches to move in, which is good because he is, or at least in the new leaf days, was one of my like dreamy villagers, so. Uh, pants. <laughs> We haven't got any pants to sell, but we're going to sell some fruit, get an extra Meow coupon. That'll be good for when we scan tomorrow. Obviously, if you know the list of amoeba that are compatible with campground, if that is a thing, let me know. Oh, finally! Cyrus has woken up! Um, I was going to say, don't forget to suggest who you'd like to see in the campground tomorrow. Hey, I haven't seen you around here before. Are you bothering my wife? Um, aggressive are we, Cyrus? Oh, Cyrus, don't be so silly. This is our new mayor, Maury! You don't, uh, you've been here in town quite a while now, but my Psy guy is always sleeping since he's so tired. I guess you haven't had a chance to probably meet yet. Whoa, are you serious? I'm shocked I haven't met him until today. Uh, sorry to get you all in my face like that. I'm just how my, uh, puppy raised me. Hmm. You need to break that generational, uh, pattern there, Cyrus. You ever dealt with an alpaca puppy? Uh, I'm Reese, uh, Reese's partner, Cyrus. Uh, I like messing with old furniture and refurbishing it uh, to turn into something new and interesting. My Psy guy is the very best here when it comes to refurbishing. Uh, he can change the paint, redo the upholstery. Uh, if Cyrus gets his hands on it, any piece of furniture can become wonderful in a blink of an eye. Ain't that the truth? Uh, if you've got any furniture you're sick of, we'll bring it here before you toss it. Uh, I'll turn into something great uh, so that'll be like a reborn anew. Wait, can we, can we advertise customized stuff in retail and then our villagers buy customized stuff? That'd be really cool. But I better not catch you making goo goo eyes of my wife or I'll make you see things in 4D. Whoa! Cyrus <laughs> needs to chill. 
I mean, is he serious right now? Ooh, someone's gonna come and buy our... Our thing. What are you doing here, Petro? Uh, do you know the reason I come here, Mori? Is because sometimes you can find really amazing furniture and even more amazing prices. I always come here expecting that sort of exciting uh, discovery. Right, so we have some... Oh, let's sell our peaches first. We can start giving Cyrus the gold nuggets. I think we get gold furniture from him, don't we? There we go. Mega deal. Yeah, we need to get planting more fruit, don't we? Right, did that give us our... Yep. Oh, that gets us three... Oh, no, wait, that's the water one. I'm looking at the wrong one. That gets us one coupon, yeah. Hey, Cyrus, have you calmed down now? Yo, Mori, what are we going to do for your squirt? I have a project for you, actually. I don't know how many I need to give you. Oh, a project, you say? I'll be the judge of that. I, I, has Cyrus always been this aggressive? Let me see if you've got anything that stands out to me. Oh, you got something good. Can I take a closer look? We have a golden nugget. Here you go. Oh, you managed to dig up a gold nugget. Way to go, Squirt. If you bring me, uh... What? You want bells as well? If you bring me about three of them and 10,000 bells, I can make you some golden shiny furniture. Please. Alright, go push yourself and dig up three of them. Uh, and then we'll talk. Throwing demands. He sleeps here for the first three weeks, then he wakes up, he's aggressive, he throws demands around. Who does he think he is? This is my town. I'm the mayor. We might have to kick Cyrus out. I'm, you know, I'm not even joking. Right, so we need to get 10,000 bells in cash. And luckily we have some golden nuggets inside our storage. Where did we plant? Let's see, our, is our tree growing? <gasps> Yay, our perfect apple tree is growing. I don't know if it's going to be, well, it's not going to be a perfect apple tree because you can't get perfect apples in this town on trees. So that's just going to be a regular apple tree. But glad to see it's growing. Um, that's always the worry. I can't believe Stitch has moved here. Unless it's just a coincidence. That would be one super duper coincidence. Oh, it's clicked our meow coupon. There we go. So we've got three now. We do get some every time we scan an amiibo. Obviously, we need we need to do the initiatives as well if we want to be buying lots of stuff. All right, we're searching for the money rock. Nope. At some point, we're gonna have to start planting trees behind money rocks, uh, behind rocks, so we can uh, not have to dig so many holes. Of this rock is hilarious. I find it's like right in the way of the the, the RVs that are going to be driving in. Right, it's got to be this one. And this is the last rock, I think. Okay, here we go. I've always wanted a way of marking the rocks on the map. Go quicker! There we go. We got it. So I wonder if we got good luck today. We haven't had good luck for money rock. Since that first time at the very start of our town. Um, no, just normal. But more than enough. So, we better go and get, um... Well, do we need three more nuggets or only two? Two more nuggets. Maybe, oh wait, maybe he didn't take the nugget. Oh, he didn't take the nugget. Okay, so we've still got it in our pockets. Luckily, we have... Um, three there. Let's put our candy away in here. We're going to have to move our spooky stuff down a level. Like so. And, oh yes, we've got the stepladder, which we totally forgot to put in. There we go. That's such a great item. I mean, it doesn't look like a library ladder, 
but it does it is useful and it kind of does go with it i think because you'd want to get a book off the, the top shelf like look how high up it is you're literally gonna have to fill in a risk assessment to climb that ladder but yeah our house is coming along well considering we're on what day 15 or something like that so just over two weeks okay let's go back to anger management Oh, that, I wonder if that's a pike. It's a big shadow, isn't it? I imagine pikes are pretty large, aren't they? What is it? A pike! Yes! And we, obviously, we don't need to donate it. That, what are the chances of that? We needed it until tomorrow. Only worth... Oh, it's worth two tickets. Okay. I was going to say, it's a bit harsh. We'll collect our coupons. Yeah, never really given the Meow coupons much of a time of day either. So something I'm really excited about this Let's Play to focus on things like that. That we haven't in the past and that I personally haven't in the past. That's crazy. I think pikes are pretty rare because the big fish shadows are obviously much rarer. And it's quite a rare river fish, so we can donate that now. That was good. Um, right, let's go back to Psy Guy. Hey Cyrus, if you calm down now, please, we just want to get along, you know. Yo, Maury, what can I do for you, Squirt? I have a project for you. Oh, uh, project, you say, I'll be the judge of that. So we've got 10,000 bells, we've got three golden, oh, we only do one. Maybe he takes all of them. Way to go, Squirt, if you bring me three of them and 10,000 bells, I can make some golden, shiny furniture. Go on then. Alright, Squirt, hand over those three golden nuggets. There we go. Alright then, leave the rest to me. It'll take about 30 minutes or so. Uh, go, go, go kill some time. Come back later. Oh, there we go. So yeah, it's cool. Um, it's not instant customization in this game like it is in other games, but it is only like half an hour. So again, that adds to the pace of the game and the, and the kind of playability, replayability of it. But yeah, Cyrus, Cyrus took me by surprise. I'm, I'm just his character though, isn't it? We love him and we appreciate his hard work to make gold furniture. It's a whole gold series, so it's going to get expensive actually to buy, to craft all those. Right, let's go and check the campsite because we keep this is maybe a bad idea putting the campsite all the way over here. We never we never run past it. Oh no, no one's here. Oh, I picked up a lost item. I wonder if someone dropped this. Um, maybe I should look for the owner and return it. Is that a? Thing? A mantis, that's it. I couldn't, th I couldn't think of the, the, the name of it. Nice. Got a couple rare bugs and fish and not even trying today. Hey, Peanut, did you lose a book? Oh, wait, have you been cloned? Oh my gosh! <laughs> did you lose this? It's a book. Sorry, that's not mine, uh, but it must belong to someone. Okay then, no problem. Uh, I I'm trying to concentrate right now. Okay. I'm joking. <laughs> We're not going to hit our villagers. Unless it's Gulliver, of course. Hey there, Maury. Man, I just can't seem to wake up this morning. I really need some uh, sun to shake off this sleepiness. Yeah, it's a little bit cloudy today. Um, did you drop something though? Did you go over by the campsite today and maybe drop this lost item? Is it yours? Whoa, well, this is not mine. Yeah, you should ask around. Okay. Who else could it be? Got a balloon. 
go. All we get is balloon presents, uh, balloon furniture at this stage of the game, I think. Okay, so we might have to go inside some houses because it seems no one is out and about. Is that another mantis? Oh, Eunice! Okay, did you lose an item? Mm, I can't uh, recall ever seeing this before. Okay then. Wait, someone was in here. The light's on. Must be a villager who's inside. Because not many of them seem to be walking around. Teddy, hey, you okay? Look at this. Fancy fat. Why have you got a dentist chair? That is not a suitable office chair, Teddy. Oh my, you found your way into the secret lair. I swear, I'm not hiding anything. I should hope not. I hope you're not doing experiments in that dentist chair. Did you lose this? It might have some secrets inside. Yeah, that's not mine. Uh, keep trying, bro. This is quite sassy. Oh, he looked quite cute when he was waving goodbye then. Okay, so we've been through most of them. We're a villager down because Stitch's plot is open. Could be Petros, who's inside. I bet it's Flora's. Oh, Flora's moved. Did you lose something while you were concentrating hard on fishing? Uh, Cyber's not mine. Oh, did we try Marcel? Oh, who else are we? Um... Monty, we haven't tried. I was thinking. I was trying to think of the name. Maybe it's Marcel's. No. Uh, but with Detective Mori hot on the case, I'm sure the owner will be found. Oh well, yeah, we're just asking everyone. I don't think that's very good detecting. Um. Right, where does Monty live then? Fortia. Wait, where's Monty? Oh. Monty's not even inside. For a second I thought uh, Monty had moved out. Not many villagers left to ask, um, but we will track them down. One way or another, hey. Oh, I don't suppose you want to sell your regal chest of drawers, do you? Did you lose this? Uh, there it is. I've been looking everywhere for dance hall in the uh, in the fa four. It's my favorite book. Uh, I'm so glad you made that delivery, Mori. So here, take my apple in thanks. Oh, good. Thank you. At least if our apple tree for some reason stunts and doesn't grow, we've got another. We've got a backup apple. Thank you. It's kind of cool get, being able to get the other fruit that easily. I don't know if we can get them all that way. Like in New Horizons, you have to visit another town to uh, get all the fruits. A stink bug! Don't do it! <laughs> okay. I think that's everything we need to do. How much money have we got on us? Let's go and pay a little bit off of our public work project. Try and get that going. Uh, good morning! Hey, contribute to the campaign. I'll target fund the 30,000 bells we collect. Oh! The villagers are actually donating 1,950 bells. Okay, we'll do five. There we go. We'll, we'll get on to, we'll get it eventually. But there we go, I think that's a good place to wrap it up. I don't think we have a visitor today unless Gulliver is out along the beach somewhere. Um, I can't see him. We haven't really had Gulliver yet. 
Um, but there we go. I think that's a good place to wrap it up. I hope you're enjoying this. Thank you so much for giving this series a chance. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying seeing our town develop. I do hope to make this like a full on town and get like big houses and that. So hopefully, like if there's anything you'd like to see during that time, let me know in the comments because I want this to be as fun for you as it is for me. But of course, a huge shout out to the channel members as well. Couldn't do this without you. So thank you so much for your support. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.